Wait, wait, I said. Puff, wheeze. <laughs> Slow down, don't leave me here. Funny, I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, Cloud, were you ever a soldier? I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's the sign of those with who have been infused with Mako, a mark of soldier. But how do you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Okay. You know something. Oh, you do. Whew, finally made it all. Now what? <sighs> My house is over here. Hurry before they come. Do, 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 do. Oops, save. That guy on the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he only answers uh or ah. Uh. You ever hear of Wall Market? Nope. It's a market in the slums of Sector 6. They've got everything you could ever want there. If you can get there, that is. The road's something else. <coughs> this guy is sick. He passed out nearby. Someone must have helped him here. This is the one, won't you help him? Listen, I'm no doctor. No, I guess not. Hey, that man has a tattoo. I think it's the number two. Doggy. Out of the way, move. You want something? Move into the store. Okay. Huh? You want weapons? That's too damn bad. I ain't got no weapons to sell you, and the reason is the weapon store is over that way. Okay. <laughs> toot toot, next stop, Midgar, Midgar. Any passengers getting off at Midgar should please ring. You know, Midgar's supposed to be sparkly and springy and sleeky. Oh yeah, someday I'm going there. The young man, I have something to tell you. Taking care of yourself is the law of the slums, but to do that first you need weapons, right? A grenade. Explosive damage against one opponent. Ah, about that. Give me one of these. Alright. Get out of the way, dog. Hmm. Everything President Shinra says is a lie. But you can't trust that avalanche or whatever you call them. You can bat it around all you like, but it all comes down to wanting to live like the people up here, up there. So who do I believe in? Myself. Me. I never lie to myself, that's for sure. Okay. And now for the news. A terrorist attack by the group called Avalanche has parts of Midgar temporarily out of power, but they will be restored momentarily. Following President Shinra's address, 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 Mayor Domino also spoke out today against Avalanche. Turtle Paradise News Number One. For delicious wine with a nice zinc to it, stop by the Turtle's Paradise. Okay. Open the top drawer. Yes. Empty. Open the bottom drawer. Empty. Glug glug. Now no one will find it. Numb. Top drawer and the bottom one. What? Huh? Open the hidden drawer between them. Five gil. Take it or leave it. I'm leave it. What 
What am I doing? I'm walking around looking at the ground. You find a lot of things people drop when you look down. You never find them when you're looking up, right? I guess. I guess. Hmm. Hmm. We only trade items for Gil here. Care if it's scrap metal or material, we can get anything here in the slums. Got a lot of good material here. Why don't you look it over? I have all of these. Hold up. This is nice over here. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? Ether. Cover material. my bodyguard. Bodyguard, you were followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright. I had Cloud with me. Thank you, Cloud. So what are you going to do now? A Sector 7, far from here, I want to go to Tifa's bar. Is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girlfriend? Girlfriend? No way. He he he. You don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see, Sector 7, I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Well, I don't know. Getting help from a girl. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that? Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. He said, getting help from a girl, ooh, I don't know about that. But dear, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Aerith, please go make the bed. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah, or I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but could you please leave here tonight without telling Aerith? Soldier, the last thing Aerith needs is to get hurt again. Huh? You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you'd better get some rest tonight. Cloud. Good night. Oh man. Seem pretty tired. I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh yeah. Ever since then. My, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend, one that'll take care of you. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. <clears throat> sector 7's past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. She's just up, sitting on her bed. Like, what the fuck? I don't know where the hell the mom is. 
we'll save again. I didn't ask you to go. I knew it would be dangerous. Are you done? <laughs> you have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get us Tifa's 7th Heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. Okay. God, stop slashing me and me only. The sector seven's in there. Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. You're gonna be all right going home. Oh no! Whatever will I do? Isn't that what you want me to say? Go on to sector seven. I could do that, but won't I be in your way? What do you mean in the way? Nothing. Can we take a break? She said, "Oh no! Whatever will I do?" She's funny. <laughs> I can't believe it's still here. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. We have somewhere to be. Cloud, over here. He's like, oh my fucking god. Are you serious right now? <laughs> what rank were you? Rank. You know, in soldier. Oh, I was... First class. Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. Were you serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Oh, hey, back there. Tifa? That girl on the cart was Tifa. Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. <laughs> Wait. I'll go on alone. You go home. She didn't listen. She continued to go along and not home. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl, so we've got to find Tifa fast. Hey you two, why don't you get some rest? We have a beautiful room, how about it? Nah, son. I just can't make up my mind. Hmm, huh? About what? Hmm, don't make me say it. It's the shop down on the right.
Johnny! Man, should I go or not? I guess I'm mental at times like this. I'm hopeless. Hey, aren't you... What? You mean you're two? Don't bring me down to your level. What? Me too. I decided this after a lot of deep thought. My last memories of Midgar, you know? But that guy over there kind of scares me. You're in Midgar. What is wrong with the people of this fucking city? What the hell? You bitch. This ain't no fucking show. I'm busy right now. I'm feeling like there's gonna be a fight. Oh shit. Let me get away from you. Urgh, no way. I can't go on. Things aren't working out. Between our differences and my pay, it just isn't cutting it. Okay. Welcome. Even unpopular dweebs like you may meet their destiny here. You looking for a girlfriend too? You know a girl named Tifa? Hey, you're pretty fast. Tifa's our newest girl. But unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo's a famous dilettante. Now he wants to settle down and is in the market for a bride. This place doesn't interest me. Hmm, seems to like it just fine. Good for you. Okay, that didn't make sense. The Honey Bee Inn is a private club. Only members can go in. Shoo, shoo. He shooed me. Dude really shooed me away. What's this? Beep blip. Whoa. Broken. Yeah. Yeah, why is there a Gatling gun attached to the ceiling? Aren't cats great? This one's a little big, huh? Whoa. Don't just stand there. Say something. Echo screen. Whatever. Please come in. There's a free pharmacy coupon if you enter now. Is there? Welcome. Sit wherever you like. I'm gonna get another pharmacy coupon today. I'm Scarf Glub. Have a seat over here. Okay. Yes, what will you have? I don't know. Uh, today's special. One today's special. Coming up. In this store, you pay first. It'll be 70 gil. Damn. Thank you, just a second. There you go, enjoy. It was all right. Thank you, here's an item coupon for the pharmacy. You can exchange it for one item there. That's our last coupon for now. Watch for our next promotion. Receive key item pharmacy coupon. I always get the special. It's thanks to the Don that we can eat like this. I'm gonna get another pharmacy coupon today. Um, grunt smack. Don't sneak up on me like that. Nasty. Can I just be disrespectful and like, just keep out of the kitchen? Okay, no, I can't go over there. All right, it's fine. Oh, what should I do? Should I just buy it? Buy what? Welcome, please take your time. Don't push hooligan. 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 Yeah, I can't do nothing here. Hey, boy. You sure got a good-looking heifer there. Wow. Take her to the Don's place and you'll make a mint. Wow. Wow. It's a little early to start eating. Come back in a bit. Wow. He said... Wow. <laughs> We're closed now. Okay. Bye. He said, hey there, boy. Got a good looking heifer there. All this trash. Can't we do anything with it? All this belongs to the owner of the weapon shop. He keeps he keeps picking things up and saving them here. Oh, you mean the owner who has a tank in his shop? But anyway, you look at it, it's just trash. 
He said, <laughs> he said, hey there, boy. Like, damn. Join the club. Try it with us. Oh, dear. I've gained weight again. That's not good. All right. One, two, three. Squats are all in the rhythm. I'm doing my best, bro. How's this? All right, whatever. Man, times are bad. And then? Hmm, hmm. Oh, really? Hey, could you do something for me? Someone's been in there all day and they're not coming out. I can't hold it anymore. <clears throat> hey, someone's in here. Don't look. Got any medicine on you? I'm too hyper and, uh... <sighs> yes, if you want to order, do it at the counter. But you're not going to take my order. I didn't even see this guy in the cut. Man, times are bad. Machine gun. This dude has a tank in his fucking store. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh, I'm running out of money. Mithril armlet. I have 90 buddy. You want something? I don't want to hear any complaints about how things look. It's your problem, bro. Hmm? It's your problem. Uh, I need I need to get money. And that should be enough money. Hmm. This is the mansion of Don Corneo, the most powerful man at Wall Market. Look, the Don's not at the bend, so don't let me catch you around here again. Hey, you got a cute one with you. Hey, this looks like the Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Tifa about you. No, you can't. Why? Do you know what kind of place this is? Then what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that'll be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. But I just can't let you go on alone. Oh, man. First, we need to find out if Tifa's alright. What's so funny, Aerith? Cloud, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. <laughs> what? Just wait, I've got a cute friend I want to bring. Aerith, I can't. You are worried about Tifa, aren't you? Then come on, hurry. Wow. A friend, huh? Sounds pretty good to me. The Don will be happy too. Who knows? Maybe I can even. <laughs> Maybe you can what? Get sloppy seconds? Is that what you're thinking? Okay. Excuse me, I'd like to get a dress. Um, it might take a little time. Will that be alright? What's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, has been in a slump lately. You see, he makes all the dresses. And where's your father? He's probably plastered at the bar. So you're saying we can't get a dress unless we do something about your father? Yes, I'm sorry. He's caused so much trouble. You'd help me bring him back? Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really? Please help my crazy old dad. I just don't know what to do anymore. Alright, let's do something. Let's go, Cloud. 
<clears throat> so how'd it go? I literally didn't leave the store yet. We couldn't find it yet. Because I didn't leave the store yet. <laughs> uh, this is the dude that's in the cut over here. Yeah. Right? Right. Excuse us, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. <laughs> make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making anything right now. Cloud, you wait over there for a second. I'll try and talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? You know, mister, he always said that just once. He liked to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A tough looking guy like that? So how about it? Will you make him one? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes. Then you'll do it for us? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress you want? Something that feels soft. And something that sh shimmers. Mm, got it. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. Hey, hold on. Wait till I get an image in my head. Gulp. Um, that's good. Okay. Okay. 